Hey golfers, here's the first drill of a couple of videos I'll do on how to coordinate your arm swing and properly post up so this way we don't have that lower body sliding out from underneath us. So the first one I want to talk about is actually this lower body runoff. And there's a couple ways of, of uh, approaching this. One, you could use a little avoidance feedback. What does that mean? Well, that means once I get up to the top, I want to have something here. So if I go too much this way, okay, that gives me some feedback, okay? Um, but that doesn't tell me what to do, though. So avoidance is sometimes good, and I've used it a bunch to create a situation, but I need to know what to do. So from a motor control perspective, you know, it's kind of like, don't hit it in the water. Tell your friends, hey, there's water over here on the right. Don't hit it in the water. So where their focus becomes? The focus becomes on the water. So if I say, don't hit that, well, the don't part doesn't really resonate with the brain. It's like, well, what do I do with this? So I need to have something very specific of what to do, okay, and get a feel for it. So one of the things I love to do, and I would start out with a modified feet together drill. Feet together drill is what? We just go ahead and hit balls, line up the ball opposite our lead foot, and go ahead and hit balls this way. But I want to take a little bit further and get into this modified version. And what I mean by that is there's still a narrow base of support. Alter, kind of stagger the stance, drop this little trail foot back. And now once I get up to the top of the backswing, if all of a sudden with this narrow base of support, I start sliding too much, my balance becomes off and I lose, um, you know, I lose balance. So what do we have to do to keep our balance? Well, now from here, when I work down, I work those arms down, I can make this move here, I'm not losing my balance. And I even want you to take it a little bit further. Where is the pressure on this lead leg? If you feel it rolling to the outside, guess what? That's still running out there. So as you're doing this drill, I want you to feel there's pressure staying on the inside of this lead leg, and you're gonna feel like that's your solid post. We don't want all of this moving, okay? It's a solid post hitting it this way. You're gonna feel your legs actually kind of come together through impact in this fashion in order to post up. So I did uh, 3D of the modified feet together drill on the left here. And this is the same student. So the picture video or the avatar on the right is his before swing. And we did make some changes in the back swing, a little bit longer swing, but I really wanna just uh, kind of show you how it affected his motion coming down. So. From here, you can take a look at, again, the purple vertical line and the yellow vertical line of each golfer. Now, one thing, when you do the modified stance, it does get you a little bit more stacked up top uh, in the backswing. So now, but now on the way down, you can see that separation happening. Golfer's been trained to drive with that lower body, and then that upper body stays back, stays behind, and just keeps separating. So what's gonna happen to the club face? It can stay open. It can flip, it can actually be square. So now let's take a look at the modified feet together drill. And you can see now arms are working a lot better on the way down. There is some separation, and I would say that is pretty normal. But it's comparably a lot less, almost at the same spot, about there. Okay, and this is what we're looking for in the swing is just there's always going to be that dynamic motion as that club's going forward that upper body's going to go back a little bit but we want to not eliminate it but just reduce it so it doesn't have a negative effect on what happens through impact so then now the golfer is able much more posted up solid contact solid uh, impact position and then can post through remember this drill is not a rotational through impact drill Okay, it is just strictly working on transition and knowing where the pressure is in your feet to get to impact. So this drill is not a cure-all, but this will help reduce that runoff of your lower body. Okay, so this is the first drill that you can use to eliminate that slack and hit the ball better. 
So for more information, head over to humo.gov where we're getting ready to launch our product and give you some insight on how to use your hands and arms and body with your pressure in your feet to control the timing of your swing, give you more club head speed, and reduce the effort. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for future videos on how to eliminate slack in your golf swing. Talk to y'all later.